Hello everybody, welcome to another abstract tutorial with me. Today we are going to make this beautiful daisy abstract with alcohol ink and acrylics. I hope you enjoy the video and let's get right into it. How you can see, I have my alcohol ink backgrounds. I have two uh, 11 by 14 in here and I'm going to paint some florals. I'm gonna do some daisies uh, on top of it and I have my beautiful mat over here so I can see where I wanna put them. I must just like turn it around and just keep it this way. All right, so I have my colors already mixed in here and I have a card that I'm gonna to use to start making the stamps. So I will go very, very abstract because I don't know what's going to come from this. So I'm still playing around with the idea of what might come up from this. Okay. But again, everything is very abstract. There is not a plan, but I just feel that these paintings need a little bit more of shows the alcohol ink background so I have created some kind of beautiful background here so I want my faces to go on this corner over here my little butt somewhere in here I might use a little bit more of the yellow with a little bit of orange just for me to see where I want those daisy to go. Okay, and then I'm gonna have another one over here, maybe another one over here. And I'm gonna come, and I'm gonna do another long stem over here. Maybe just moving around. I also gonna do some, um, I think that's pretty good. I might do just maybe one more in here just to have a little bit more of contrast over here. Okay, so I think that's pretty good. I'm going to use a little bit more branches to make it a little bit more darker for my day seat center. Okay, I'm going to do the same over here. Maybe one more here and again this is pretty abstract i don't have an idea at all what's gonna happen so i'm gonna rinse my brush and i'm gonna start making uh the daisies so i will come pretty abstract it's just the idea of having some kind of floral in here I think uh, it's pretty fun and give the painting some kind of like you know it's more like interesting to look at so I'm gonna do a few more here and I'm doing like a wet on wet right now uh, if it gets mixed with the other colors, it's uh, totally fine because remember, it's pretty abstract what I'm doing right now and I just want to have something pretty to look at. And again, before I use my acrylics on my alcohol ink, I definitely use my a spray to seal it which is this one over here you can find it on walmart michael's uh any art supply this will seal your alcohol inks before you start painting on it okay then that's pretty good right here and then i'm gonna do this one looking pretty down and you can see it's mixing with my brown which is totally fine all right i'm gonna so i'm just 
creating something beautiful from this amazing background and I think this is pretty cool just to give the painting a little bit more movement so I'm gonna keep using more of my white over here and again you don't need to be very detailed when it comes to abstract because that's the beauty of it right so I'm thinking on spring right now and this is what comes in mind this is just blooming all around I think it's very pretty all right so now I'm gonna get a small brush and I want to add a little bit of green to it just to make it a little bit more spring vibe Okay, so I'm going to do the same over here. I'm using just the smallest little corner of my card because I want to make it very, very abstract but pretty at the same time. Just uh, pretty abstract. You don't have to think about much. I just want the green to show in areas that I believe the leaves are falling. So I'm gonna do the same over here, some down here, just adding some detail to the painting without overdoing it. And I think this is very cute because you have the background of alcohol inks, which is beautiful. And then you have this greenery, beautiful daisies popping in and being shows very cute right here okay i'm gonna do the same over here same over here and if you want you can add more colors to the painting but i think i think it's uh, very pretty the way it is so i'm just gonna add a little bit of more brown to dark some areas of the daisy buds over here just to blend them a little bit more make it a little bit darker just that way you know and then i would come with my data brush and i'm gonna just make these buds look a little bit more Orangey over here and there, just a little bit of mixing. It's all about figuring out what will look best, giving some light and contrast. So I think that's looking pretty good. All right, so now I'm gonna come with my detail brush and I'm gonna just fix some of my petals. I think doing this kind of painting is very relaxing for me especially spraying around the corner is uh, something that I enjoy I hope you love this video and you find it helpful and inspiring leave me a comment if you like what I'm doing over here if you like more of my abstract paintings I have so many other videos that you can watch um so yeah anyways i think this is turned out so pretty it's just elongating the petals of the daisy a little bit more so i have a little bit more of something pretty to look at i think this is gorgeous guys and i love it and remember, flowers are not perfect. Flowers are actually very abstract. And when it comes to adding to your work, I think it's very uh, unique and beautiful. And how I mentioned before, you don't have to be perfect and super detailed. But I think it turned out very pretty.
already so I might just add a little bit of this brown right over here because this one is like floating in here okay and I can't remember everything is very abstract I'm gonna add a little bit more stems around here just to make it more interesting just coming this way all right so I have a few more paintings to make which is amazing and thank you so much for watching and I hope you enjoyed this small little tutorial that I prepare for you with so much love and I will see you on my next one thank you